goeiemorgen, good morning, guten morgen, kom ons taak, doe bella. There's a notification and the festive farm is here. Hello farmers, it's getting frosty over here and all farmers can feel the real winter has arrived. The sea between the mainland and the island has completely frozen over. Now you can visit the festive farm walking on the ice and enjoy a Christmassy atmosphere. Penguins, seals and I await your arrival. Don't wait too long. Visiting the festive farm is only possible this time of the year, and only before the ice melts again. So, get your bobble hat and knitted scarf, and discover with us all the stuff in this wintry event. Let's go! And we get $100,000 farm dollars for just visiting the farm the first time. So click the button and the world map will open. Eventually. You'll find the festive farm in the bottom right hand corner of the game where it also tells you the uh, information for the event, such as how everything fits together. And then on the other tab sheet, there is more information about the various chapters and the rewards you can get, as well as the rankings and the rewards. So let's get to the farm already. As usual, we need to choose between the free farm and the various gold options they have. I play for free. And immediately there's a few offers to make life easier for you with gold. So let's get started. And by visiting the farm, we just finished the first task. Let's get the $100,000, which we will need for the next task. Good night, or perhaps welcome, would be more appropriate. You must be the help I've been hoping for. My buddy Barnagle told me about you. Want to go see what we can do to properly kickstart some extra holiday business here on the farm? Did you know that I recently met Santa Claus? That really inspired me. Shortly afterwards, I decided to start making holiday items of my own. Yes, I know that's a lot of work to tackle. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. I'll help you. Exchange dollars for snow dollars. So we'll use some of that reward we just got. And we also have some daily tasks. Maybe we can do some of them. Let's go to the level 1 bank that the farm starts off with and use their terrible exchange rate to exchange some normal farm dollars to snow dollars. And there it is. Task 1 has been done. Time to collect the rewards which is experience. Ta -da! So the first task of the introductory series is to harvest some flax. The introductory series you can see is at the moment the recommended and it consists of six tasks in the series and then there's also daily tasks which, would, which we will do as and when we can. So start planting flax. Let's move this out of the way so that we can have space to build. But before we get to building, we need to look at and have a talk about money. Yep, money is the thing. The festive farm, like other temporary event farms, gobbles up the money from your farm really quick. So the faster you can upgrade the bank, uh, the better exchange rate you will get, as well as the more money you can exchange at a time, so that you can build and upgrade as quickly as possible to get through all the tasks. Since upgrading the bank is a priority at the start, we always check that we leave enough money remaining in the bank so that we can upgrade it immediately after the cooldown. Okay, let's buy some happiness and workers at the Winter Trader. It used to be here for the runestones, but we don't get runestones anymore. Hmm. Let's see. used to earn runestones instead of festive coins and that's the thing we're looking for add happiness, add workers let's see if they carried over the trade to the festive coin side no, no. why not? darn it why change the currency if you don't make the trades available in the other currency this is just <coughs> Okay, 
seen. Okay, so we'll have to build houses right from the get-go. Before we build any houses, let's see, do we have enough happiness? Come on. 110. Ship, that's enough for a house. Let's build a house then. Uh, always making sure that we leave enough money in the bank for the next bank upgrade. And let's also get another farm plot so that we have space to build a second field so that this flax thing can happen a bit faster. Okay, and right there. As a reminder, the first task of the introductory uh, quest series is to get 60 flax. Flax is ready, so let's harvest it and that should finish this task. Thank you for our nice reward. Time for step two of the introduction and let's see what we have to do. Start the production of Santa hats only once. Now, the thing is that the Santa hat needs quite a lot more flax than the little bits we have already harvested. And that is one of the reasons... Hey, it's going to be hard to upgrade that. Yay, lots of money. Anyway, uh, that's one of the reasons we need a lot more, um, more flax. And that's why we already built the second field to get the flax faster. But in the meantime, we can upgrade the bank again. All right. Yep, it's going to take two and a half hours. And in the other construction slot, we can also upgrade the fence along for a little bit more happiness without taking up more space. Good deal. Another two harvests of flax is ready, and hopefully with these we will have enough for more for the Santa hats. Yes, we do. Produce a batch of Santa hats, and that is done. Collect our rewards. Thank you. Task 2 complete. And step three is have a house, which we already do since we built it while we were waiting for the flax to grow. And so step three is complete. Let's move on. Let's see what step four requires. Expand the farm. We also did that while we were waiting for the flax. Goody good. Move on to the next one. Let's see what step 5 requires. Have one stone mill on your festive farm. Well, that would require quite a few workers and space. I'm not sure we have enough space. Let's see. Come on. Nope, we don't have enough space. And uh, we will need to upgrade the house for more workers. So this one is not going to be as quickly as the others. Okay, we'll keep working on that. And in the meantime, continue to plant flax and exchange money and all those things. In the meantime, let me see if I can make things fit. Um, rearrange it somehow. Uh, sometimes playing a bit of puzzle works. Sometimes, no matter how much you try to play puzzle, it still doesn't work. Nope, I don't think this one is going to work. We'll have to expand at least once more. Okay. We still have a decoration in the draw box, right? Yes. So I think we can build that so long. And then when we upgrade the house, come on. Yes. Then we upgrade the house, at least the happiness is already sorted out. And it also occupies both construction slots for the moment. If we look here, the stone mill requires four workers and it will take 20 minutes and that is the amount of space, 8 by 7, that we need to be able to build it. In the meanwhile, we can upgrade the gate so long. I think, yes, we have enough money, we have enough time, so that no construction slot is idle and we don't waste any time at all. In between, keep on harvesting and replanting, even when it is not part of any specific task, as we will need all those resources later down the line. Okay, let's harvest this and then we need to look at something and do some serious thinking. Come on. Okay, so go away things so I can see. Upgrading a field will cost 80,000 snow dollars as well as three workers. And if you look at the bank, it's now on level 3. Next time, after, when the upgrade is finished, it will be on level 4 and will give us a maximum of 300,000. 
um, dollars that we can convert at a time. So, if we convert 300,000, and we only have like 57 at the moment, plus a bit of the exchange rate, means we could upgrade both fields, but then we won't have enough workers for the both of them, since we only have four. Upgrading a house will be 95. We could do all of those with one 300,000. Mm, no, we can't upgrade that yet. Oh, or we could upgrade the farmhouse. Well, no, the workshop's completely out of our reach for now. Hmm, well, let me think about it. Okay, bank is finished. Bank upgrades take priority, but another one of 350, that will take all the money that we have converted, which means we can do nothing, I mean upgrade nothing, until the um, bank is finished processing those. Or we could buy another plot of land, and now we don't have enough money for a bank upgrade anymore. Mm, any mini mini mo. Okay, let's go with fields. The fields means our yield for everything that comes here after will be more. And I really just don't like things on level one. Level one is such a waste of time and money. So, let's go. Yes, I do. Whoa. Wait. Uh, oh, the gate's not finished. Uh, I know. Well, yeah. Let's upgrade the two fields, and I know we're sh short of workers now for when they are done. But, um, yeah, that takes a bit long. Although, with the gate finished, we should have more than enough happiness, which means when we're done, we can just quickly build uh, another house. They don't take long to build, and then we'll have enough workers for all of them. Yep, that'd be the plan for now. Well, it's the next day and we still haven't built the silo. In the meantime, we will look at the daily tasks. Uh, can't do that yet. Uh, can't do that yet. We can do the sardines. Okay, so let's go for... Oh, yes, we can only assign one uh, workers for one and then we should be upgrading... No, building a house. That's not upgrading. Building a house to get the workers for the other guy. And then we can plant sardines. And, oh yes, we needed that money. So, if we exchange money again, and then we do not use it until we can upgrade the bank. I think that's the plan. And while we're waiting, perhaps we should rearrange the form a little bit. Because that house is standing in the middle of nowhere. And we need to make space for the stone mill. Hmm... No. Nope, that's not enough space. Yeah, I think the stone mill will fit in there. I haven't looked, but I think so. In fact, we have a building slot open, so let's see if the stone mill will fit in processing. Stone mill, got the money. Is that Yes, enough space. Great, making progress and soon we'll be done with the task, finally. Great, yes, the stone mill is finished building, let's give it some workers and then go to the task book and quest book. And the quest book says stone mill done, step 5 complete, only step 6 left of the introductory part. So what does step 6 require? It requires us to sell some flax, and since we've been harvesting flax all the time, that should not be a problem. Yep, only 60 flax, easy peasy. So let's go there. Thanks for the rewards, go away so I can see. Oh, I haven't assigned workers yet. And then, uh, no, the other one, yes, that picture. Sell flax. Oh no, we don't have 60. Uh, we've been making too many centaids. Okay, well, I guess that will mean we'll be planting flax first and finish the task later. But in the meantime, there's still upgrades to be done. We'll need more workers so that we can upgrade the fields and everything else. So, uh, 
Yeah, let's go. Few more workers and what else shall we upgrade? Oh, remember that upgrade requires 350k and we still have enough. So I think we shall keep the money for that. Yeah, let's see. On the Festa farm, yes, flax is ready. So we can harvest the flax, then go to the barn and sell our 60 flax that we needed. So sell only 60. Don't want to sell them all because, you know, we're going to need that for other things later. Like lots and lots of Santa hats, I suppose. And probably everything else in the workshop. But go open the task. Quest book. Why do I keep on calling tasks instead of quests? I don't know. Collect the rewards. And ta-da! We're done with the introductory part of the festive farm quests. See you later for the rest of them.